The Point. 98.7 CKPM FM. 98.7 The Point. Uh, Foster the people doing it for the money. It is a uh, Tuesday morning, and I keep going back to Monday because I keep thinking it's Monday, but it's it's not Monday. It's a Tuesday, the 4th of July. Eric Callens is here, the tourism manager for the city of Coquitlam. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Uh, fully, fully, fully successful day at Town Center Park. That was so much fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, it's great to see so many people out there uh, enjoying uh, Canada Day and Canada 150 and getting to know one another and just enjoying uh, our fantastic city. <laughs> you say so many people getting to know one another. So I'm standing with a friend of mine, and this has nothing to do with the quality of people at Coquitlam because 99.9999999% of you are friggin' awesome. <laughs> but two people, okay, so uh, nothing's really happening. One of the bands is playing. I'm talking to a friend of mine. We're standing up at the back. The people behind us are not paying attention to the band on the stage. And this old grumpy guy starts telling us to sit down. The people behind us can't see. And we look at them. They're not watching. We look at him. And he starts giving us a finger and what? swearing at us. As he's, oh, and then he sits in front of us, right? It's like, oh, okay, so that's fine. And then we turn around and talk to the people behind us saying, hey, uh, were we in your way? So, no, 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 we weren't watching it. And then the dad of the girls there comes up and says, I'd appreciate it if you don't talk to my girls. They're too young for you. And it's like we were what? trying to come. Oh, we were just my. trying to be good neighbors. <laughs> and it's like, oh. So out of the two most annoying people in the whole wide world in all of the lower mainland, yeah. we had them both there. And all we do is say thank you, yeah, have a good day, and just went about it. That's all business. you can do. Of the 60,000 <laughs> people there, what are the chances, right? <laughs> that we would have the big thing. Come and talk to me if you are an a-hole, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, but that is nothing, nothing at all. Like, the whole the whole day was great. It was a fun day. But it was just funny. These two things happened, right, simultaneously. What's the best? That's the beauty of going to these uh, big events that the, in the various cities that it's like, it's like reality TV. You just live it. You never know what you're going to get. Well, I know. That's it. And, and like I said, everybody, the people next to us were having a great time. Uh, one of them was uh, an insurance broker. The other one dealt with elderly people in a, a medical capacity. And they were loving the music yeah. and just getting into it. It was just a good, good day. It was a good, good day. And that, that venue just sets it up so well to watch a concert or just pass some time and look at the view, look at the lake. People watch. With the beer garden right behind there, it was it, it just sets up so so well for for the summer. It was, and uh, the the interesting part with uh, with that, we talked about it, and I think I talked to one of your coworkers, Heather, and I've talked to you about this too. There's not another theater like this from well, Stanley Park's got one similar, but you've got this one, and then I don't think there's another one between here and maybe. Alberta or Saskatchewan might be the next closest one. There really isn't. And it's funny, we were approached, we've been approached by, and this is one way to, to, to realize how lucky we are to have this, this venue, is we're often approached by companies looking to film, film concerts as part of their show. And, and they said, this is the best one in the Lower Mainlander, really almost in BC by far. So, you know, we have the, 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 the amount of people who want to book it for concerts or theater companies or what have you. And then we have the film industry starting to to catch word of this fantastic venue to come and film. So you know it's it's a it's a good problem to have. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, and and that that plaza performance plaza is going to be used uh, more so than just Canada Day, isn't it? Absolutely. We have a lot going on this summer at that uh, at the town center park plaza stage. And the the <laughs> next one is a, a great guitar player and a great guy, Joe Fernandez. Yeah, July 14th, Friday. So we're going to have three summer concert series and they're they're put on by Envision Financial and of course the city. Uh, July 14th, we have the Joe Fernandez Band, also known as Dr. No, and a up and coming Canadian country folk music artist, uh, Megan Twist. Excellent. Free concert, 7 to 9 p.m. There'll be food trucks on site. Or you can bring some food, hop over into city center and visit some of our businesses in that area and walk up, take the SkyTrain or lots of parking and come see a free concert. Yeah, and if you don't know who Joel Fernandez is, if you went to Roosters, uh, he played there quite a bit and then he was doing the Sunday night thing at Roosters for a, a long time. So if you're that age group that used to go there, you know who Joe is and you might yeah. have grown up a little bit more now. So now you can actually go see Joe in this venue. Yeah, it's it's going to be great. And, and I think, Rod, you'll agree on on Saturday at least, and, and when I've been to concerts in that venue, the sound is great. It, it, Phenomenal. Yeah. For yeah. outdoor stage, the sound comes right at you. There's a ton of seating. There's grass to sit on. You can bring a blanket, bring a chair to sit on, but there's also 
the uh, tiered seating. So you're always going to have a good view of the artist uh, and a great view of the lake and the fountain in the back. Sun setting, it's as good as it gets, doesn't it? Yeah, excellent, yeah. So we got uh, one of those Joe Fernandez is coming July 14th. Uh, then there's other stuff happening around Coquitlam and oh. the Tri-Cities this summer. How much time do we have, Rod? Let's. I'll, I'll get going right away because <laughs> the free concert series, so August 11th, so July 14th, August 11th, and September 1st, Fridays are going to be rocking in Coquitlam. Well, August 11th, we have Olivia Penalva whew, and Andrew Allen. These are more hip, uh, contemporary artists, uh, pop music, so... Bring your, bring your family, bring your kids to that one. September 1st, we have the Clavinova Knights Jazz Band and the Bruce James Orchestra. Again, these are free concerts. Bring a picnic, have dinner on site. Uh, there's food trucks, so great way to spend your Friday nights. July 26th to 30th, Plaste Art is bringing the performance A Midsummer's Night Dream at 7 p.m. This is, again, a free performance, uh, almost like Bart on the Beach downtown, but it's in our own city. Take the Sky Train, hop on over, bring a picnic. Uh, five beautiful nights of performances. We get into end of July. We have the Hard Rock Casino Ultimate Car Show. I know I've seen you down there, Rod, with your son. It's a great show. Some well, cool cars. His his dad, his grandpa, his dad. I'm his dad, right? Yep. Okay, so his grandpa, my my wife's uh, my ex wife's uh, dad, is a car freak. He's ah. got a, a classic Corvette and a classic Camaro, both convertibles. So my kid comes by it honestly. That uh, oh, okay, it's yeah. in the blood. It's in, in the, the blood. blood. Yeah, yeah. I'm a car guy too, but I don't think I can enter my O2 Mazda. It's just <laughs> it's just not up to speed yet. The rubber band is broken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, and then. We, uh, so we, same weekend as the Hard Rock Car Show, we have the Can West Games, which is the fittest people you're going to find from all over Western Canada and the U.S. Rod, are you going to be there? Oh, yeah. It's so, I go there and I look and I'm so disgusted because they've got like, uh, 0.5% body fat. I know. Me, I've got like 89% body I fat. Know. And they, yeah. these, you know, one arm pull ups, these <laughs> men and women, and I'm just going, and the, uh, the organizer, Tom Smith, Eric, Give it a try. I said, no, nah, Tom, this is not yeah. my, uh, this is not my crowd. My, my whole thing, life is too short not to eat uh, some crappy food every now and then. Yeah. So <laughs> if you want to see beautiful people, beautiful bodies and. Come and the, look at Eric and I, if you yeah. want to see people with 0% body fat, go there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's a beer garden there. Believe it or not, these folks, after working out like that, they do go have beer. So if you want to just go watch yeah. and hang out and see this, uh, why not? The cheat day. Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, and then throughout, uh, you know. The summer, July, and August. There's also music on the grill with the Evergreen Cultural Center. Um, fantastic outdoor dining, and you go inside the beautiful theater and you watch different performances. And then our big one, August 12th, Rod, the Kaleidoscope Arts Festival. Yeah, I know. I'm looking forward to that. And who is headlining that? Okay, one? so the headline is BC native and rocker Biff Naked. She is going to put on a show. I follow her on Twitter, I follow her on social media. She's super pumped. And she's one of those artists, I think, that gets so pumped performing on stage live and at an outdoor venue. I, you know, you talk to different artists, there's nothing better as an artist to be outdoor on a beautiful stage like that on a summer night. I think she's going to bring her A-game. I, I definitely think and that she is too. And the best part about this whole thing is it's free. It's free. It's 100% free. The only thing you're going to spend money on if you want to hit a food truck or the craft beer garden, that's it. Otherwise, it is free. And not only Biff Naked, we have the Matinee, we have the Paper Boys, we have Jennifer Hayes, local girl. They're all coming for Kaleidoscope? Yeah! So we play the Matinee, so I'm going to play some Matinee in the next one. Uh, Paper Boy, we've got to get some Paper Boy. They're kind of a a Celtic feel. Yep. But I'm going to play you some Biff in a second here. Yep. um, I just thought of something. You talk about the beverage gardens. Can you please talk to the suppliers and get them to bring in a cider or a wine or something? Because that was the biggest thing on the... uh, the Saturday, everybody says, well, there's beer here, but I'd like a wine or a cider. Got it. So uh, maybe I'm you can work it. on that one. I'm Perfect. on it, Rod. No problem. So all the details for this, Eric. Coquitlam.ca slash explore. You will find all this stuff uh, and much more information on what you can do in your city this summer. Excellent. And uh, here is Biff. She's there. Kaleidoscope. What's the kaleidoscope date again? August? August 12th, Saturday. Mark your calendars. It's going to be a fantastic day. <laughs> 